Um, I'm actually not, or like never, was here at night. But he's still open, so... <laughs> What's going on? Desi! Desi, Desi, put, put it down. Put it down right now. <laughs> I will let all this slide. Forget it all happened. Trust me, okay? Trust you! Everyone who trusts you winds up dead! That's not gonna be me! I'm not ready to drag me down anymore! You kidding me? You'd be dead in a matter of weeks without me. Look, we make this move, we survive. You understand? It's the only reason we're doing it. It's the only way. And trade one master for another? No. All I do is answer to the Pawn King for every damn thing. And I'm sick and tired of it. I'm done answering to anyone. Tourists, fuck. Thank God you're here. A sane person. Talk some sense into her. She's gone nuts. What's going on here, Desiree? She's had it coming, okay? For a long time. This... This is not some whim, all right? This is a decision. A calculated, conscious decision. By me. For me. Decision? Des, baby girl. Listen, there is no decision, okay? There's only one thing to do. You drop the gun, we talk this through. You're not right in the head. You're not right in the head! I'm just supposed to go with you to the fucking tower? I don't need you anymore. I haven't for a long time. But you've kept me here under your thumb. Now you're telling me that I have to go live in that prison because you made some deal with Mama? A deal that was in both of our best interests, baby. She promised to take care of us, Des. There's a lot you don't know, girl. What deal? Made another fucking deal, huh, Sonny? I fucked up, okay? But what choice did I have? Mama came here with a bunch of goons and threatened me. Said she'd burn the Pond King down to the ground with us inside. Unless we went along with her plan. The ambush. Taking out both you and Gary. But if I did it, if I helped her, then Dez and I would both survive what was coming. She's gonna wipe out the exiles, kill every last one of them. That's what she told me, word for word. Desiree, for the love of Christ, come on, put the gun down. Stop telling me what to do! Uh-uh. I'm in control here, not you! Yes, 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 you're in control, that is established. But come on, Des, you're not gonna pull the trigger anyway. <laughs> um Holy fuck. I pulled the trigger. And now you are gonna listen to me for once in your life. I'm listening, I swear. Jesus Christ, my eardrum. I can't hear nothing but ringing. I have begged almost my entire life to know something. Anything about my mother. Just so I could have some understanding of who I am. You have never told me anything. Never even shown me a picture of her. And then the walkers came. And we could have helped her. But we just left her out there. Day after day alone. To die. How am I supposed to forgive you for that? I get it. Sonny, you just screwed me too many times. He doesn't deserve forgiveness. He doesn't deserve anything. Yeah, you're right. Because he'd actually have to apologize and feel bad about what he's done. Yeah, yeah, la de da de da You kill me, Desiree, and you'll regret it for the rest of your life. Believe me, it'll hang over your head. If I kill you, I'll become a murderer. A monster. The kind of person I would hate. But then again, I'd also be free. I'd be free in a fucked up world, sure. But at least I'd be free from you. Free? I could never let you go, Desiree. You're my daughter. That's how it is. Someday you'll understand. But if I need to die today because of it, then I will. That's fine. Go, go on ahead. Go on and pull the trigger, baby. 
Because I ain't letting you go. You're making this harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Family drama. I... Everyone is up to their decisions. It's up to you, Desiree. You know what's right. Okay. If I was in your spot, I'd have been screaming for revenge. But you saved me. And I owe you for that. I didn't do anything, Sonny, like... You don't owe me, Sonny. If it was me on the other side of the glass, you'd be dead. You owe her. You're right. I do. I'm sorry, Dez. For everything. <laughs> There's nothing to do. What about this deal? Sunny. Am I just left alone here doing some survival? Maybe I should have killed him. We'll see how it's gonna go. Where's the rest? Tourist, thanks for coming. What's happening? Sable came through. Big time. I knew she would. There's a convoy about to leave the tower. Shitload of supplies on trucks. Huge operation. It's our chance to swap ammo for the exiles. I've been talking to a bunch of them ever since you hooked us up. They are aggro as a pack of rougarous. We get this ammo to them, it's all gonna go down. Fuck yeah! I knew she could do it. Okay. What's the plan? Meet Sable and Barnes on tower grounds. Parking garage, second floor. That's the staging area for the convoy. Stealth is key, so go at night. Sable's gonna snap a lock to an unguarded entrance that will get you past the perimeter and onto tower grounds. Billy Bolt Cutters to the rescue once again. So I wonder if it's the final stretch or just preparations for the final showdown. Hooray for Billy. Not sure what we do without him. People said you had a sense of humor. Kinda have to when everything's this fucked up. JB was a jokester too. Not sure if you're aware of that. JB seemed pretty serious to me. Yeah, he was that too. He had it all. Really thought he was the answer to all that ailed this city. I guess I was wrong. Oh well, not this time around though. My gut is telling me that I'm gonna be on the winning side for once in my life. Maybe this was part of JB's vision all the while. The long game. Enough about the past, though. This here is the future, and you gotta get to making it. Bone chance, tourist. Parking garage inside the tower compound, second floor. And of course, at night. But at this point I don't mind because uh, Garrick is done. So, I'm all safe. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the scenery. Second floor of the parking that's behind the tower. I thought they meant this one. That's a very long distance. I don't know why the game didn't drop me there. I'm ready for some action. So should I be more careful than usual? 
because of the patrols or it's gonna be fine like I can't tell because I surely can't cross through here I see some people blinking in the distance <laughs> Does it actually say that? Enter the compound. You don't mean this. If I would be a fan of that will be really the stuff. There are no zombies whatsoever. I don't know what they are preparing us for. <laughs> I'm definitely too slow. There is no one here. guy on top oh shit <laughs> let's start the fun is someone here What the hell?
so it's past there. It's like if they would not be invisible, it would be fine. At least the icon helps me. How are they not responding to sound, like... <sighs> Who, what? I think I'm too slow, I'm just careful. Because I don't think this is the last mission. The entrance is supposed to be... well there, not here. It's not a mission for a bow though. Wait, what? Seems like someone wants to die. But I guess because... Oh my god. We're at night. So they don't necessarily see. I'm just assassinating everyone here. Like, I can't sometimes tell if that's a person or not. I think he has an armor, that's why things were bouncing off. But for some reason, the bow actually works. Oh my god. This is not my day. <laughs> Yeah, the helmet has something.